studies. Back to Dr. William Maroney. Why exactly does the body, as it decomposes, create this horrific stench? And is there any credence in what Defense Attorney Peter Odom just said that the smell only was created when they lifted the child up and took him out of the car? That, that doesn't even make sense to me. There are five stages of decomposition. Fresh putrefaction, black putrefaction, fermentation, and then dry decay. All of the gases that are made in decomposition that come from the early stages are volatile. That means they're, they're, they're up in the air and they're given off their small molecules. Spermine, spermidine, and putrescine are given off. And it's very, very uh, uh, essential in this recreation. Everything you know about human decomposition goes out the window because this is in an oven scene in the car with all that heat, in every other decomposition, the body temperature goes down as the body becomes the same temperature as the environment. In this case, the forensic science behind this is going to have to show that the temperature went up, which is the exact opposite. So I disagree respectfully with Mr. Odom. There's going to be some stool there, but there's going to be gases formed in the body and they're going to be released and when you move that little body, it's going to release even more gases from the early stages of decomposition. You know what, doctor? I am looking at baby Cooper right now, and it's so hard for me to reconcile what you're saying about this tiny baby boy's body decomposing until all the officers on the sink can smell the stench of decomposure with this little angel. Um, Everyone, in the last hours, please back at the scene recreating the, the crime the day baby Cooper bakes dead as damning smell evidence is emerging.